is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Okay. Okay. Okay, Leo. Let's see what's going on. So we have the High Priestess in reverse. Why is the High Priestess in reverse? I think someone's finding it hard to trust their intuition and they're trusting their logic right now, or this is just someone listening to too many people's opinions, or someone just plain suppressing their feelings right now. What is the High Priestess in reverse? Why is the High Priestess in reverse? See, Ten of Wands in reverse. Someone feels the need to let go of a burden or someone has released the burden, okay? Or someone just felt a, a, a relationship or a connection was a burden and they're laying off the situation. Why the Ten of Wands in reverse? Queen of Swords. Someone could have given an ultimatum or you could have cut this person out, they could have cut you out, okay? But this is an ultimatum. This is someone who's just fed up. Someone, one person's fed up and they let go of this relationship, okay? And now they're suppressing their feelings. They're not letting their feelings come out. They're losing touch with their intuition, okay? Why the two of wands in reverse? You, on the other hand here, you, this is the situation. You, on your mind, either you're holding off a decision. I think you're holding off a decision. What is the two of wands in reverse? Because the hangman in reverse, you're not seeing things from another person's point of view, okay? You're being very stubborn right now. You're not budging or you're just lacking perspective. Why is the hangman in reverse? Why is the hangman in reverse? Five of wands in reverse because you don't want drama. This person probably brings a lot of chaos in your life, a lot of chaos, drama, whenever they come along, either there's too many people involved in your situation or you're just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not going to fight for this anymore. You're giving up. You want to release the tension. Again, I'm getting too much drama. And you want to stay. You're making a decision which is safer, which is keeping you within the comfort zone, okay? You're wanting to stay safe and you're not wanting to still make a decision. I don't think you guys have left, left the relationship or you guys have, you know, like completely broken up. I feel there's a pause between you guys, okay? But you're lacking perspective. They are the king of pentacles. Either this person is very focused on their work, their career, their own stability, growth, or this is this person wanting to come towards you and offer you something stable. What is the king of pentacles? Seven of swords in reverse. After probably being deceptive or cheating, this person wants to come back to you. They want to return to you. Why is the seven of swords in reverse? Someone, they want to change the way they approach things, okay? They want to make a very honest approach to the situation. What is the seven of swords in reverse? Seven of Wands in reverse. So I feel that, you know what, this person could have been very, very guarded towards you. They could have been very guarded towards you. This person could be protecting themselves or they could be feeling the need to guard themselves from you, okay? I think this person was very guarded in a way that they weren't letting you get into their life. And you were fed up. You were like, you know what, I am doing the entire thing on my own. This is bullshit. And this is taking a toll on my health. This is overwhelming. And I'm taking the entire responsibility. Probably you had too much expectations from this person and you're letting the expectations go, suppressing your feelings, not in touch with your intuition. And now this person is no more guarded. They're letting their guards down. They're returning to you. They want to return to you. They're feeling guilty about... Again, I'm not getting cheating, but I'm getting someone who's just deceptive in a way or someone who runs away from their feelings or who's trying to escape this connection or run away from this connection. Now they want to come back. Your emotions is a tower in reverse. Either you're trying to avoid a disaster or you're trying to repair the damages. What is the tower in reverse? Why is this in your emotions, Leo? Why is the tower in reverse? Queen of Pentacles, you just want to focus on you. So I think you want to avoid a disaster. You think that, you know, you just want to avoid creating a mess. You don't want to cause a mess. And that's why you're avoiding 
confronting this person or making a decision. You are fed up. You are fed up. But for you, it's like, you know what? Screw this. And with the Queen of Pentacles, I think you're very focused on your work. You're focused on your stability, your growth, your security. You're building a life for yourself. You're probably focused on your family. And uh, you're being very practical right now. Very practical, very grounded. And you're leaving the emotions on the side and thinking very logically. Where's the Queen of Pentacles here? Because the Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, it looks like it's, it, it looks like one person. It doesn't look two people. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? What is this Queen of Pentacles? Why the Queen of Pentacles in your emotions here? King of Swords. So now we have a true bear. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. Again. Either you have clarity about a situation and you're, you want truthful communication or you're just very clear in your head about what you want and you want stability, you want growth and you feel that if you continue being with this person, it's going to turn to be a shit hot mess and you're just like, nope, I'm going to want that as much as I can. And you're very clear about it. You're being very clear in your head about it. Like, no fucking around. I mean business, that's what you mean. You're thinking logically, you're going by facts and being rational about this. Because your entire focus is the, the pentacle with the queen of pentacles. Your entire focus is on your growth. Again, you want, you're looking for something which may, gives you that growth, that stability, okay, that security, where you don't have to keep fighting for someone or where you don't know where you're placed in this person's life, okay? And this person could be having a habit of ghosting you again and again and again. Every single time shit gets serious and then they want to run away or they want to just sneak away. And now they want to come towards you. We have the king and queen, oh, sorry. With the king and queen of pentacles and the king and queen of swords. We have two pairs. I don't see two people here, but I see two couples here. But I still feel it is you both. Your energies again. True pair. Alright. Why did the nine of swords in reverse? Why did the nine of swords in reverse? Why did the nine of swords in reverse? They're coming out of their head. They want to. But with the devil here, they feel they're obsessed with you. They feel very stuck, tied and bound to you. They feel very chained to you. Like they cannot get you out of their head. Whether they offer you commitment, whether they offer you something stable, yes or no, but they feel change to you and they cannot get rid of you. Not rid. I don't even think they want to get rid of you. It's like they're trying to get out of their head. Maybe they were stressing a lot about the situation, you know. Uh, I think this person has a lot of remorse and regret about what really went wrong. They're, they're feeling guilty. Again, seven of swords of reverse. I mean, this person is trying to accept the situation. They're trying to get out of their head. They no more are wanting to, uh, I think they're wanting to work on this. Because with the devil here, again, this person is, I think, almost trying to uh, face their demons, okay? But again, they feel very, very, five of pentacles in reverse. This person, this is a very codependent relationship. That's what the devil is. Codependency, fear. They feel very codependent on you. And with the five of pentacles in reverse, this person wants to come towards you. I think, you know what, with the Nine of Swords in Reverse also, I feel that stress is taking a toll on them. Sometimes the Nine of Swords in Reverse doesn't always mean that things are getting better, someone getting out of their head. Sometimes, sometimes it means that it's just getting worse. It's just getting worse now that you've cut them out and said, bye-bye. That's what's happening. Why is the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse here as a mutual energy? I don't think you're both working on this relationship right now. None of you are investing. Either one person is not investing because there's a lack of reciprocity, or then there's just both of you who are just not focusing on this right now. Or someone's just being lazy. Why they do pentacles in yours? Two cards. Because there is a lack of cooperation, there's a lack of teamwork, there's a lack of co collaboration. You guys are just not coming together on the same page. So someone's just choosing to leave the situation. Could be a third party situation, although I don't see it here. There could be someone who's constantly interfering in your relationship could be but someone's just you know what screw this i'm not putting in my work right now my, my time's precious and i'm not investing into this i'm going to invest into myself that's what you're doing leo again guys feel free to switch the energies all right yeah that's why there is a lack of effort here king of wands in reverse and that's all because someone's not taking action 
I mean, I'm literally saying the size because that's the kind of vibes I'm getting. You know, it's like this this side talks to me, then this side talks to me. So that's how it's going to be. Okay. Yeah. Feel free to flip the sides again. Okay. But yeah, someone's not taking action. Someone's being a coward, not making that brave, bold move towards you, Leo. And you're like, I'm done. I'm done. I probably overestimated you. You know what? I probably overestimated you. And you're just not making the move that you're supposed to do. You're not manning up. So now I'm going to leave this situation. I'm no more wanting to focus on you. I'm no more wanting to work on you because I've tried my best. I've given it my 100% and you just don't seem to be on the same page with me. However, with the Eight of Cups in reverse here, your attitude behavior is you're not being able to walk away no matter how cold with the King of Swords you are or no matter how practical with the Queen of Pentacles you are, you're not being able to walk away because you're emotionally very, very invested into this person. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse here? Six of Swords in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. As someone who's wanting to return to you or you're wanting to return to this person. But let me tell you something, Leo. Six of Swords in reverse. You're going back again to the same negative cycle. You know you need to move on, A, or you know there's some specific change that you need to make in order to come out of this cycle, okay? Because of which you've probably been in the cycle for a very long time, because of which with the Queen of Swords here, you reach this point of being fed up with this person. Like, this is an ultimatum or like, you know what, don't even come close to me, don't even talk to me. That's the kind of energy that you've reached right now because probably you are in a particular cycle with this person. Seven of Swords is a very repetitive action. Okay, it's a very repetitive energy. This person, you could have again given this person a lot of chances, etc. Okay, but they kept repeating the same thing over and over again. And now that you know, either they're open, they're no more guarded, they're wanting to be vulnerable, or like you're just giving up. But again, your attitude is still the same. I don't see that death card coming here, okay? Where like Again, see, you're not even wanting this disaster to happen with the tower in reverse here. You want to avoid a disaster. So I don't think you're still calling the shots. You're still not breaking, breaking up with this person, you know, in order to make this person realize how you need to be treated. You're just trying to avoid that, you know, you're fearing change. You're fearing what you can't see. You're wanting to stick to the safer choice. I think that's what you've been doing all this while. And that's why the Queen of Swords. Six of Swords in reverse is you're making things more difficult than this scene. The road is right there, but it's up to you to, to go that way, you know. The Six of Swords is a forced departure, but you're going against the current. The universe is asking you to go that way. You're like, nope, that way. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? I got two cards. I want one card, please. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? Give me one more card. Why is the six of swords in reverse? Wow. So you know it's a disappointing situation, okay? You know that you're putting all your effort, your energy, your enthusiasm. You invested a lot. You waited and waited and waited patiently for things to come to fruition. This relationship should come to fruition, okay? Things to work out. You could have waited for a very long time. You now are wanting to give up, okay? You see this huge, big, fat disappointment around the situation. And it's probably continuing to be a disappointing situation, like I just said before. But you refuse to move on. You're stuck on them. And you're going nowhere, buddy. You got this person fooled, but you're going nowhere. You can't fool me. <laughs> Their attitude towards you, the lovers. I love you. I want you. They feel a strong soul type connection to you. Okay, this is a strong soulmate connection. A strong bond. And um, they're in love with you. I know this person has a choice to make. Could be between two lovers, could be between two people, or this person just needs to make a choice, okay? But I think with the lovers of this person, they see you. And with the nine of pentacles in reverse here, this person is very, very codependent on you. Five of pentacles in reverse, nine of pentacles in reverse. They're ready to commit to you. They're ready to be in a relationship with you. This is someone who's been single for a very long time or wanting to be single. But... They're ready to be in this with you because again, they feel that sense of codependency on you because you're now the queen of pentacles with the king of swords. You're like, dude, I got my own shit to do. And that person's like, no, 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 can I be a, a part of your list? And you're like, nope. Guys, seriously. I mean, you're doing this to your own self, okay, by not moving on. 
I'm not asking you to move on, but I'm asking you to make that change. If you want that breakthrough in this relationship, I'm asking you to make that change. That's what I'm asking you to do. Think differently. This is your subconscious thoughts that's stopping you, okay? This is, you are still unhealed, okay? Why is the nine of pentacles in reverse? You're going to stay in this unhealed position unless and until you don't move towards a new change, okay? Why is the nine of pentacles in reverse? Why is this a court dependent? Judgment, they want a reconciliation with you, flat out. Second chances, they want an opportunity for something. A second chance, reconciliation, resurrection. They want it, they want it, they want it now. Likely have come 10 of pentacles in reverse. There's still some time, there's still a delay before you guys get into that solid commitment. Or if there's still some time before you reach that point of security and stability within the relationship. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Why is this the likely outcome? Two of Swords, someone needs to make a decision. Someone's blocking their heart chakra. Someone needs to make a decision. Two of Swords. Yulia? You're stuck in your head. You? Two of Swords is an energy of someone, you know what, who can just literally, they have like a blindfold on, you know, like they're like, I can't see anything. But they're choosing to not make a decision or they're choosing not to see the reality. And that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing here. At least the person on this side is doing it. You're stuck. This is flat out ignoring someone. What is the two of swords? What is the two of swords? Why the two of swords actually? Why is the two of swords here? Because magician in reverse. Two things. One thing. Two things. Sorry. Either you feel you don't have the power, you don't have everything that it takes to make this happen with this person because you find this person too manipulative. This person could be playing a lot of games with you. You feel this person has the gift of the gap and they always got, they always have a trick up their sleeve, okay? Or you just feel that um, they're extremely manipulative or you're just losing confidence. You don't have the willingness. You have the skills and abilities to make things happen, but you're not trusting yourself enough. You have more self-doubt that this won't work out or you're not going to make this happen or you know you're not going to be able to take action or you're just plain not taking action and you're just choosing to be in your head could be you could be them that's when there's a delay in a commitment but if someone makes a decision then probably things would work out much better and go more smoothly that's what i have for you leo i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time